everyone and welcome to our how to stop motion animation in today's stop motion animation video i'm going to show you guys how to work with interactive backgrounds and how to get the perfect positioning of your camera your ipad your tablet whatever device you're working with getting the perfect angle is only part of this journey so let's begin so for this stop motion animation we actually have a girl on the background and she's walking into the scene now i want you to pay attention to her legs now because we are using these paper cutouts um we are not able to make her walk so we want to draw her legs in a way that she looks as if she's walking so every time we switch you'll see us switching between one piece of paper to the next and it's just to show that walking effect because we're not using like a doll or play-doh or something that we can move our legs to walk we have the legs like that um also for with clouds it's the same as we did in the last stop motion animation how to we just bring in the clouds and to make them look at this as if they're rolling in now to get the gray clouds we actually had to take out each cloud shade it gray and then put it back into the scene exactly where we took it out from so doing this actually makes it look as if the clouds went from white clouds nice bright white clouds to gray clouds in an instant so after we did that we started putting in the raindrops now to make that illusion of rain falling it's 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 a lot of work um it took us about 15 minutes to get all these raindrops onto this onto the background and it ended up being about a couple seconds long in our thing so it takes a lot of time to do and then only ends up to being a little bit of time so we're gonna place these raindrops um now with raindrops to get the illusion of it raining we want to remember to move we have to move each and every raindrop on the screen to make it look as if it's raining and now i'm going to pause and remind you guys that you have to drop the frames per second to six or less when creating a stop motion animation it helps make your video longer it slows it down so it's not like a fast fast movie so remember to drop that frames per second it's very important to do that so we're gonna continue adding um these raindrops um remember each time you move a raindrop you have to take them down a little bit and add more to the top uh it's it will be wise to move your clouds a little too just so that it gives the effect that um the clouds are moving when rain falls the clouds are not generally least in one place they kind of blowing over and moving so just remember to do that um, so let's talk some more about this girl that we cut out images of so i'll say we probably cut out about four images of this girl two with her walking in one with her um facing forward and one with her in the last scene i think or maybe it's five so we want to make her moving and realistic so we are actually using the different images that we have of her to make it look as if she's moving now so that's how we got her that's why you see us switching out um the images now if you look at the screen you're seeing us placing some puddles on the ground now we only place those puddles there when the raindrop actually hits the ground so the frame before this frame we had the raindrop hit the ground and then the other frame it actually turns into a puddle so you'll see it jump into from a from a raindrop into a puddle now even when we have that puddle created we still need to make those raindrops come down and you see us moving the clouds as well because you want to make it move and look really real and stuff so we have the puddles um for extra effect we had one hit her head and of course if a raindrop if like the size of these raindrops it hits her head it created a puddle or more than one raindrop hit her it created a puddle under her and this is where we would switch out the image that we have right now of her and put in a new image because we don't have we're not using lego pieces and stuff we want to use an image so we're using paper cutouts so we're still replacing all these guys adding in some splash some puddles at the bottom um, I think at this point my little helpers 
we're really tired with these raindrops because it is really hard to do it really does take time so when you if you're gonna use rain in your scene make sure you have enough time to do it right so this is us switching out the image we have one with her with her hands up and then we have a little umbrella prop for her so she's holding a little umbrella while while the rain is falling and even then we still have the rain coming down now so most of the rain is gonna be hitting the bottom at this point so we started taking out some of the raindrops to, to make it look as realistic as we can get it to look now you're not gonna leave all the rain to fall in one spot you need to keep them moving so you see it's keeping it moving coming down so guys I want to take this time to remind you guys that it is going to be some way to get your stop motion looking the way you want it to look but I promise you once you're finished making this stop motion you're going to be so proud of yourself like these girls were so proud of the stop motion that they made at the end of it because it's all the work you're putting in and then you get to see a beautiful creation after you're finished so at this point we started bringing in the sun you can see the sun just starting to peep into the scene a little bit um and while that's happening we want to put the clouds moving towards the sun um but at the same time you still need to keep moving those raindrops keep taking some off of the screen so i don't know if you can notice we are taking some off little by little and taking photos while we do that um so for my background we drew everything here just we didn't add any extra um any extra things any extra equipment we used everything that we had we had markers we had um bristol board at home we had tape and we used those things to create this image we put our camera our ipad on a table facing down laying on the table facing down camera hanging off the edge and we were able to create this amazing scene that you're seeing right now um, right now what you're seeing is the wind starting to blow in blow those clouds to the side there's mr. Sun coming out so while that is happening you still have to um, move around all the other pieces on your scene so I was telling you about the, the how we set up for this when you're creating your stop motion you're gonna see that angles are very important this is actually the best angle that we've tried so far if you look back to the other stop motion animation that we did the angle was different we had the um, iPad standing in its case to give us that illusion putting it lying down and working on the floor is we it's really easy you should probably try this method um, if if you don't have a tripod or something it's really good so we created everything like i said we we drew this scene on a white piece of bristol board um we cut out all those little clouds we cut out all the raindrops we cut out the girl we put the we put it on the floor i would advise using some tape on the floor to hold your scene your background in place because once you start moving your background may move a little bit so at this point we kind of hit into the close to the end of making our video we added in the final touches and this this part pre went by pretty fast um i want to show you if you notice i'm lifting the girl and putting her down every time i move and take a picture that is to give her the effect of jumping up and down so we have finished creating this stop motion i want to remind you guys to go back this is if you're using an ipad um, or an iPhone create a name we can come up with a great name so we named it rainbow um, and save it and upload it to whichever device you need to upload it to and that is about it thanks so much for listening to me guys and listen to our tips and tricks and I will see you all in the next one bye guys have fun creating and good luck